In this question, a single phase auto transformer with taps at 0%, 25%, 75%, and 100% positions is connected to 400 volts primary supply. And this auto transformer feeds two secondary load resistors connected as shown in figure. We have to calculate the currents in the three sections of the winding assuming an ideal core. The meaning of the ideal core is we have to neglect the losses. This is 400 volt primary supply and this auto transformer is feeding two load resistors 200 ohm load resistor and 400 ohm load resistors. In this figure you can see that there are three sections in this auto transformer winding. The first section is ED, the second section is DB and third section is BA. The first section DE, second section DB and third section BA. We have to calculate the currents in the three sections of the auto transformer winding. You can see in this figure that this 400 volts is applied across the 100% of the winding. This 400 volts is applied across the 100% of the winding that is the voltage developed across the 100% of the winding is 400 volts. The voltage developed across 100% of the winding is 400 volt. Can you tell me the voltage developed across 75% of the winding? The voltage developed across 75% of the winding will be 300 volts. You can see in this figure that between point D and A, 75% of the winding is available. Between the points E and B, 75% winding is also available. So the voltage available across the points E and B will be 300 volts and the voltage available across the points D and A will be 300 volts. This voltage is this voltage will be across 200 ohm that is 300 volts will be available across 200 ohms and the voltage which is available here will develop across 400 ohms so the voltage across 400 ohm and 200 ohm resistors will be 300 volt you can find out the current 300 volt by 400 ohm equals to 0.75 ampere and 300 volt divided by 200 ohm equals to 1.5 ampere so we have calculated the current flowing in 200 ohm and 400 ohm resistors now I am taking this supply as a reference so in the phaser form in the phaser form V1 can be written as 400 angle 0 the voltage which is developed across the points E and B is V2 so the voltage V2 in the phaser form can be written as 300 angle 0 the voltage which is developed across the points D and A is also 300 volts and can be written in the phaser form as 300 angle 0 volts the angle of V2 and the angle of V3 will be 0 because the angle of V1 is 0 now the current flowing in this in this 400 ohm is I2 that is 0 0.75 and in the phaser form you can write I2 as 0 0.75 angle 0 this angle 0 is taken because the load is resistive and V2 and I2 will be in the same phase now coming to I3 this I3 is 
also flowing through the load resistor this is the resistive load so the phase of V3 and phase of I3 will be same in the phase of form I3 can be written as 1.5 angle 0 now to solve this problem to find out the current in the different sections of the auto transformer winding I am going to use the technique of complex power balance according to the complex power balance technique the complex power input equals to complex power output the complex power input can be written as V1 I1 conjugate I1 is say uh, let us say that I1 is the primary current so V1 I1 conjugate is the input complex power the output complex power will be written as V2 I2 conjugate plus V3 I3 conjugate I have written all the values and you can put the value of V2 I2 V3 I3 in the phasor form you will get the value of I1 conjugate and the value of I1 in the phasor form will be 1.6875 angle 0 ampere kindly note that all the currents I1 I2 and I3 are in the same phase so I am not going to write angle 0 every time now let us solve this problem <coughs> we have got the value of I1 this is I1 this is I2 and this one is I3 I am not writing the angle because the angle of all the currents is 0 so if you apply KCL at point E the current in the winding ED will be 0.9375 ampere now if you apply the KCL at point D you will get the current in the winding DB this current will be will be flowing from point B to point D and the value of the current will be 0.5625 ampere now you can see that this current 0.75 ampere is flowing in this way and the current which is leaving the point B is this 0.5625 ampere easily you can apply KCL at point B and you will get current flowing in the section BA this current will be 0.1875 ampere flowing from point B to A so in this way we have calculated the currents in the different sections of the auto transformer winding so we have solved this problem let me repeat all the points again this 400 volts is applied across 100% of the winding so first we have calculated the voltage which will be available across 75% of the winding so in this way we have calculated the voltage available between the points D and A and also we have calculated the voltage available between point E and B so from the calculation we got the value of the voltage available for 75% of the winding the voltage available for 75% of the winding is 300 volt so 300 volts will be available across 200 ohm and 300 volts will be available across 400 ohm so we have got the current I2 and we have got the current I3 by using the complex power balance technique we have got the current I1 by using the KCL at point E at point D and at point B we have calculated the currents in the different sections of the winding